metric measurement and place value. Hello kids! Did you know that metric measurement system is used all over the world for measuring quantities like weight, length, capacity and many more. Let's learn about some of the units and their place values that are used in the metric measurement system today. Three basic units of the metric system are gram for measuring weight, meter for measuring length and liter for measuring capacity. In our daily life, we often need to use many other units bigger or smaller than these standard units. Let's get to know them through this table. It shows the place values of each unit and hence helps in determining the relation between the units. The standard units of measurement meter, gram and liter are placed in the ones column. As we move to the left, the units in the tens column are ten times bigger than the standard units. We name these as decameter, decagram and decaliter as the prefix deca means ten times. And the units in the hundreds column are hundred times bigger than the standard units. We name these as hectometer, hectogram and hectoliter as the prefix hecto means 100 times. Similarly, the units in the thousands column are thousand times bigger than the standard units. We name these as kilometer, kilogram and kiloliter as the prefix kilo means 1000 times. Now, let's move to the right of the ones column. The units in the tenths column are ten times smaller than or one tenth of the standard units. We name these as decimeter, decigram and deciliter as the prefix deci means one tenth. And the units in the hundredths column are hundred times smaller than or one hundredth of the standard units. We name these as centimeter centigram and centiliter as the prefix centi means one hundredth. Similarly, the units in the thousandths column are thousand times smaller than or one thousandth of the standard units. We name these as millimeter, milligram and milliliter as the prefix milli means one thousandth. Students, remember, we attach certain prefixes to standard units to obtain bigger or smaller units. The units appearing to the left of the standard units are bigger. The units appearing to the right of the standard units are smaller. The value of a unit is 10 times the value of the unit to its right and one tenth times the value of the unit to its left. For example, one gram is equal to 10 decigram. One gram is equal to 
one tenth decagram. Now, based on the table, let us solve some examples and find the relation between a few units. Let's find the relation between kilometer, hectometer, decameter, and meter. We know that the value of a unit is 10 times the value of the unit to its right. Therefore, 1 decameter is equal to 10 meters, 1 hectometer is equal to 10 decameters, and 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers. So we get 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers is equal to 10 into 10 decameters is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 meters. Thus, we get the relation as 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers is equal to 100 decameters is equal to 1000 meters. Next, let's find the relation between liter, deciliter, centiliter and milliliter. We also know that the value of a unit is tenth times the value of the unit to its left. Therefore, one milliliter is equal to one tenth centiliter or we can say 1 centiliter is equal to 10 milliliters. Similarly, 1 centiliter is equal to 1 tenth deciliter. Or we can say 1 deciliter is equal to 10 centiliters. And 1 deciliter is equal to 1 tenth liter. Or we can say 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters. So, 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters is equal to 10 into 10 centiliters is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 milliliters. Thus, we get the relation as 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliters is equal to 100 centiliters is equal to 1000 milliliters. Kids, now try finding relation between other units of measurements on your own.